Good morning. I'm going to show you my OOTD before I take it off. So this is what I have had on today um, with my bag from Miss Pap. Miss Pap, I'll link them below. Coat, jeans and shoes. So this top was part of a Speaking for, huh? He's kicking for um, a like tracksuit thingy. So, this is what I've had on. What is this? What is these? Are little dried fruits. And for Indies, shall we? We went wrong, and you know the answers. All of now is up to me to say to you, it's a waste of time. The things we do, you look so cute. Look at this pretty eye. guys I have no idea where I left the vlog the other day but I am just putting my shoes on and um, to go to the vet with um, Peter and Pierre because they've got a little bit too friendly recently so I need to go and have a look and see this is like a little post op kind of appointment just to see if like they're heavy enough to have the anesthetic because I really can't do this, do my shoe up with it. Um, uh, when they last had their vaccinations, they were under a kilogram and the vet was talking to me about neutering and said, oh, because they're under a kilogram, they're like too little to have the vaccinations. So, um, not the vaccination, sorry, the, the, you know what. <laughs> So I don't know why I can't say it, it's not like they're going to hear me. Um, so because they've gotten a little bit too friendly recently, I do not want to be explaining that one in school to the children. So um, I'm going to have a little look and see if we can go and get that done. But this is the OOTD. I say OOTD, but it's like half past three. Um, so I've got on this jumper here from Miss Pap from the last haul that I did, which I will link below. Um, I've got this trench, which I think was from ASOS, um, some white jeans and these shoes, which are from ASOS. And I'm also going to pair it with this bag, which is like the belt bag, which I'm not wearing as a belt today, um, for from Miss Pap. Oh my gosh, language come out of my mouth. So I'm just going to put the little monsters inside the bag and we shall get going. I'm also, I've just, it's looking a lot lighter in this camera than it actually is, but I've just finished doing my hair, which I foiled myself, which doesn't look too bad from the front and the sides, but the back, like the, the middle section, if I part my hair, oh my goodness me, there's bands of white, orange, then bits that like have not been done at all, so I haven't done the best of jobs there at all but hey it's gonna as long as I kind of don't part my hair at the back I should be okay um, but let's get these bunnies inside the bag I was just thinking can I show you what's on here there's nothing that you can't see on here it's a mess so I'm just gonna move this and put these into the bag and then we can clean this when we come back hello everybody I have got an awful lot to catch you up on well, let's start with, <laughs> I just did some filming and 
you know when everything can go wrong everything went wrong so basically my microphone ran out of battery so halfway through and i didn't even realize so i ended up filming on the microphone on my camera so goodness knows how that's going to come out and um, the battery went on the camera as well and i only have one for that one <laughs> So I had to stop halfway, run up and hope that like the rest of my makeup stowed because I hadn't like set it or anything. Um, what else went wrong? Oh, the app kept like shutting itself down on my phone, like the one that connects to the camera where I can press record and stop, record and stop. And I had to get up and try and reset that so many times, literally I lost count how many times that that was. Um, the dogs were walking in and out, there were people outside shouting. It was a little bit crazy. Oh, and my hair. I don't know what happened to it when I put it in a bubble last night, but it's gone really funny. So, like frizzy kind of on the ends, you know? I don't know, but that is not a nice curl. So that's staying behind here. And now this camera battery's flashing. I have no idea what's going on, so I was pretty sure that I charged them all. But anyway, I'm just, you're just gonna have to deal with my pixie ears now. Um, so let's take this stuff upstairs and then I will let you know what's been happening with Dakota. I got sidetracked and <laughs> just took a photo for Instagram and then decided that I wanted to make banana pancakes. Um, well, I'd say I've decided. I've asked Adam how do I make banana pancakes so he's just messaging me back through Snapchat so he's going to try and help me do that. We are currently mashing a banana with some soya milk. And then I've been told to add in a flour, baking powder and a tablespoon of sugar. So whilst we are cooking let's tell you what's been going on with this little one. So we noticed a lump right near her um her back leg on the right that was quite big right near where one of her mammary glands is um and that was on the tuesday and it was quite big like a golf ball size and then the following day she started limping um so the next day we took her to the vet my battery's gonna go let me go and grab another one okay new battery is in um oh that smells like burning so there she is um, yeah, so I took her to the vets on the Thursday and the lady examined her and said, I don't know why I'm trying to multitask, um, and said that it was definitely a tumour. Um, her right leg was really stiff as well, so um, they could either sort of take a bio biopsy from it and figure out what kind of tumour it was or they could operate and take it out um, so obviously I said well there's no point if it's a tumour and it needs to come out then and it's grown that fast then we need to take it out straight away so uh, we booked a straight in for the surgery which was on Wednesday so it was like less than a week and during that time she had this stuff which is really really good this is Medcam for dogs and I think this is kind of like what an anti like an like an ibuprofen kind of does I forgot how much it hurts your arm to vlog um yeah so that's what that kind of does um starts with like the pain and like the swelling and things so we were sort of preparing ourselves that we might I can talk about this all now because it's all done and I feel fine. Um, but at the time I was very, very emotional and because we were preparing ourselves because we thought that we might lose her. Um, she, they told us that they would do the x-rays first and take the bloods as well to see if she, oh my God, my brain is just so fuzzy, um, to see if, there were tumours anywhere else in her body because if there were anywhere else then um, that would mean that there would be nothing else that they could do. So not going to get upset. Um, we just sort of didn't know what was going to happen so I took her there then on uh, Wednesday morning um, and 
we went away and were told that if we didn't receive a phone call by like about five o'clock because we took her there at half past eight then to go and pick her up at five o'clock but they just let us know how she was doing so the vet rang me at about 12 i think and the bloods had come back and the x-rays had come back from like her chest and everything um because they basically they were saying if it was in her liver or her kidneys then that was the bad one um yeah so they came back and he said that they were okay so it was kind of like a massive relief but he did say that um to be wary that the x-rays would only have shown a mass so if something had started to grow whereas they wouldn't be able to really see something on like a cellular level if it's gone anywhere else so we're aware of that um that there still might be still might be something else going on there might be it might be that um it still might have um cancerous cells basically so we are very aware of that and like two years ago she had something called a pyometria which about like a week later Kaya had the same thing which is absolutely ridiculous how they both have the same thing which is if your dog isn't spayed then it's kind of like it's in the womb and I'll post a picture of how big hers was because I'm pretty sure hers was 3.3 kilograms when it came out in the vet said there was the biggest one he had ever seen and it's just something that happens um to dogs if it's like a possibility if they aren't spayed so yes so that was a bit mental and um, so she has cost us an arm and a leg but um, she is home at the moment and it was horrible when she came out of the room with the back because she's not an easy patient either she's very um, like defensive so if somebody who she doesn't know will go to touch her like back half or anything um, other than like round her face where she can see she just goes for them and <laughs> years ago the vets gave us well we bought a a muzzle which oh my hands are stuck ah hang on which is one of the ones that kind of slips over and it's got the opening at the end but it stops them from like opening the mouth up and down and now they gave us like measured that one for us um but apparently yeah, it's not very good so <laughs> they had to use their own um basket muzzle that kind of looks like a basket that goes over the top um, because she was a little bit of a pain in the butt um but she is good but yeah when she came out of the room with the bats and her back legs were sort of like dropping because she couldn't walk she was still sort of under the influence um and like she had all sort of tears like black like this and she, oh, it was horrible but I slept downstairs with her for the first night and the sounds that she was making was absolutely horrible. But she's now got a tire on, haven't you baby? And this is obviously where they put like the the um, drip in to make sure she was okay. And she's grabbed this horrible thing on and I can't really get to where it is to show you so I will try and show you a little bit later, um, but it's really big. We went for a checkup the next day, and um, they said, oh, "I'm sorry, baby." They said um, it's a little bit red, it's a little bit bruised, which obviously from surgery is expected, but um, a little bit red, possibly where she's lying on it. And they were concerned because she hadn't eaten that night or the next morning. So we had one of the cans of like the bland food and because it smells really nice because she has dry food normally which is very good quality dry food it's taste of the wild if you want to have a little lick it's good stuff it's better than like yukonuba which we used to um, feed them um yes yeah, so she did eat that and then she's back on her normal food so she's eating fine now she slept really well so I managed to sleep last night up in my bed which was great because i slept properly she's really really bored though she's making lots of noise like she just doesn't want to be in the house because she can't walk properly it's going to take her about well they said a few weeks for her to be better um i kind of feel like she knows i'm talking about her as well because she's like staring at me funny <laughs> um 
yeah, is there anything else I need to update you on? Just cost an awful lot of money, which we're really hoping that insurance will pay some for because she's insured. Um, but they were really funny about like paying out for the pyometria because she obviously sometimes they say it's preventative if you get them spayed. But yeah, so this wasn't a preventative thing, this is just something that happened. So we are hoping because I'm like a lot lot a lot a lot of money down now so probably no holiday this year let's say that um but i would much prefer to have this one still with us and hopefully there is hopefully there's nothing left in here but we do know that um there may be the he said when he got in there that it wasn't like a simple kind of tumor either so if, if like she's led on her tummy and this is the tummy and then this is sort of the mammary gland it was like a golf ball on top say and then underneath the skin it went like that but then to the side of it was like another one sort of attached and it wasn't round either there was all sort of like jaggedy and quite a pain to remove apparently like all within the fat and this one's now shouting again but yes she is okay this one is a pain Kaya was missing her a lot when she wasn't in here for like the half a day, um, but she's a lot better now. So let's make some of this. Guys, I accidentally just made a giant pancake. <laughs> well, that's my shocking attempt at banana pancakes. And my fruit's going really furry, so, yep. <laughs> Oh, I just had a snoozing fit. <laughs> um, I'm just upstairs now and I'm about to edit the um, footage that I took downstairs, but I wanted to really quick you, uh, quickly update you on, why does this look red here? My hair is such a mess today. Um, really quick you, quickly, oh my gosh, update you on where we were food wise as well, because it's been such a super long time since I've vlogged properly and spoken about um, like changing our eating habits and things. So um, we are trying our very best not to eat beef, and we are we haven't had milk in like a super long time in its liquid form. So I'm still eating dairy milk, <laughs> chocolate, um, but I haven't had milk in i don't even know how long i haven't had milk for but we have um like soya on our cereals and things like that um and in our tea and i use like almond milk for my smoothies and things um and adam eats eggs but i haven't eaten eggs in a long time so i'm cutting out like one thing at a time not to i think I don't think you should ever, never say never, but um, I'd like to be mostly plant-based. Um, so I'm just cutting sort of one thing out at a time and finding substitutes instead of like I originally did, which was try to do it all and I was just like, I can't do this, it's just too crazy. I didn't have enough knowledge of anything. So yeah, I'm just slowly educating myself and this is where I am at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I can't think if there's anything else so yeah um no eggs no milk unless it's in chocolate and no beef yeah little fish but not a lot of fish but anyway um I am going to start editing the first beauty basics video and that will be up Monday hopefully tomorrow um and I will see you then <laughs> thanks guys subscribe if you aren't already see you soon bye and so should you